Hello, my friends. I am coming to you live from the Grossman Gallery, which is the library gallery in our little coastal California town of Lompoc, California, located just north of Santa Barbara. And I have a show here for the month of October, and several of you said you'd like to see it, so let me uh, give you a quick tour. I'll give you a quick scan of the room first and then we'll look at everything a little bit closer. These massive doors here and outside we have a nice um, poster with all the information that invites people to come inside. Got this nice feature wall here. A lot of these videos you have seen are the creation of these works you have seen on my YouTube channel. I'll quickly zip through the past the glass wall here. Now, I don't sell a lot of paintings here. This is not your um, typical art gallery. It's a gallery, a multi-purpose room used for many things, but they do invite artists to show their work here. Once every few years, I had a show here pre-COVID, and I may have sold four, three or four pieces, and I think I got a commission out of it, so it wasn't bad, I'm happy. So I, I come into it with the attitude that it's just for show, and if I happen to sell something, well, that's just icing on the cake. So, let's head over here. I have a little guest book where I invite people to sign in and leave comments in the email if they'd like. A little artist bio. Yeah, I don't think these two I uh, did make videos of. The, the one on the right, um, actually maybe I, I didn't show the original video, but I touched it up and painted some water drops on it. And this is an oldie I call Southwest Dreams. <laughs> but it looks kind of pretty on that blue wall. All right, heading over here. That was kind of a mistake, but I loved the colors. So keeping that one in the running. Now my style has really changed a lot in Dutch pores. I went from this, which I really liked at the time, to a different look. And of course this is a much larger canvas, but I've even changed from um, that style. I'm too close, let me back up a bit. There's a couple of the iris pores. Um, those are probably my two favorites. I think they look nice stacked like that. It's another large one. That's the largest I've gone. I think that's a 24 by 30 inch. And then that one you've seen, and I believe you've seen that one. Again, the glass wall. <laughs> Now down at this end of the room, we have colored pencil drawings. Now, I would like to mention that um, all of these were classes I had taken on online. I bought either a, a paper packet or a video, it was a video class. And I would like to give the names of each of the teachers and I will link them down below if you're interested in colored pencil it's really fun and there's some wonderful instructors out there. This is Paco Martinez, or Dominguez, excuse me. This was the very first color pencil I ever did. It was a video lesson by Paula um, Leopold. I really enjoyed the working with that, so I was hooked after I, we call it painting, we call it um, colored pencil drawings, paintings, because many of the same techniques are applied. This is Marion Jackson. That was, I can't recall if it was a video or just a paper packet. It's been a while. This is another Paula. I think this was the second color pencil drawing I ever did. I love the glass. It was fun to do. And this is another Paula. <laughs> I do like her work. Um, love the porcelain look there. Oh, you can see me. Of course, these all have glass on them, so sorry about that. 
This is my friend Nilda, Nilda Rosa Rodriguez, who has a pouring channel where she also teaches um, colored pencil drawings and oil paintings and acrylic paintings. She's a marvelous artist and teacher. Her school, it's, her channel is Online Painting School. And if you haven't already subscribed, please go over there and check out her her videos. This is another one of Nilda's, where we learned how to um, do water drops in colored pencil on this one. <laughs> There's a load of them. And this last one was done, um, taught by Amanda Coulter. That was a video. It's very simple, but I, I really like it. It's quite effective. So that's it for the colored pencil wall. And around the corner here, wow, that is lit up really nicely. I'm very happy with this corner is usually lost in here in this giant room. Uh, this is a, an embellishment I did long ago. Very little of the pour remains, the orange poppy field and, and this area I can see was uh, pour and, and under here, but then I, I think I embellished that with oils. I can't recall for sure. I rather like it. It's kind of a happy painting. And over here, we've got a couple of Dutch pours. Now, this is kind of how I have evolved. I, I like this style now, kind of a jagged edge on the Dutch pours. It's just, it's a very organic floral look that appeals to me. And a couple of embellishments. You may have seen this one if you saw my last video I did of my show at the Cypress Gallery. Now that's a real art gallery where people go in and expect to buy things. <laughs> and I did quite well at that show. It was a real pleasure. And this one, kind of based on a Alphonse Mucha, the artist. Happy with that. And then over here, just some regular pours. Dutch pour. Now this one, I don't know if I did a video on it. I haven't. If I did, I haven't uploaded it yet. It's just done with Prussian blue, silver, and um, a mix I made of red violet. And I, I was kind of going for a masculine um, look, if that's possible, with a, in a Dutch pour. But um, I rather like it. It's quite striking in person, I think. This is an oldie. I call it malachite just because of some of the areas look like a, a slice of rock to me. This is what I would term a mistake, although I, I like the outcome. It was a Dutch pour that I didn't care for, so I just blew out over all the negative space and added some additional white and then kind of pulled it out with them. Um, Oh, I think I used a business card to kind of pull these little lines out to the edges to kind of tie the center in to the composition, and I call it nebula. Over here, I know this one is on video. I was tempted to embellish it in some way, but I decided to leave it alone for now. I can always come back and do it if it, if it doesn't sell. Um, but I rather like all the floral shapes in there. It's another oldie, but uh, goody. I think it's pretty, pretty, pretty. And I know this one was a done on video. This is an embellished one where I painted in those little seashells and the sand. And here's one of my good old ring and ribbon pours. That was a video, I'm sure. Called Jazz. And here is Iris Queen, kind of the one that started the Iris series, gave me the idea. And over here we have Golden Child shown you that one before. It was a mistake. I, I didn't care for the pour. I don't remember 
what it was. I started tilting it off. You can see that it was tilted, 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 and suddenly it, it began to look like a landscape to me, a beach landscape. It's a little crooked, isn't it? There we go. That's better. <laughs> um, and I think it worked out well with that cute little kid there playing on the in the sand. Dutch pour. And some embellishments. Got this little little mermaid. I think this one is so cute. And uh, it's been around a long time. Nobody's purchased it, but uh, I rather like it. I call it wishing. She looks like she's in a little underwater um, cave looking out into some sunlit area. <laughs> this was the very first embellishment I ever did. I call it Butterfly River. And put the butterfly and some water drops on there. <laughs> this is a very simple one called Hello There. And this is a not very simple one. Put a lot of work into that one. And Facebook would not let me post it. They called it um, sexually suggestive, <laughs> which was very funny. I have no idea why I didn't uh, fight it. I just found it funny that they said that. So who knows? Maybe it's that come hither look. Okay, I think that's, there's the restrooms. <laughs> And we're back to square one, Grossman Gallery. So let's see. <laughs> so, well, thank you, my friends, for indulging me in this little tour. And um, I hope you enjoyed it. If you see anything you're interested in, uh, just email me because chances are they will still be available. <laughs> so. Um, I have a video uploading tomorrow the the pink Dutch pour that I showed you at the end of the room there and I hope you'll watch that enjoy it then I'll see you next time bye now